Uh, some of the biggest challenges facing senior living industry today, I think it's twofold uh, from my perspective. I think one is uh, our staffing and, and having uh, staff available uh, to provide care and, and serve in the uh, main functions of the community. A faculty person at MIT expects a shortage of 151,000 professional direct care workers by 2030 and 355,000 shortage by 2040. So it's a really serious problem. So because it's been a challenge, we've had to relook at how do we go about recruiting differently and, and better and smarter. Um, it's kind of multifaceted for us. There's no silver bullet in this. We first kind of took another look at our culture and said, you know, who are we? How are we going to attract today's employees? So we wanted to make sure we had an environment that was attractive to the candidates we're looking for. So what sort of methods are we using in our recruiting process? Um, we're currently, you know, doing the old standby, the job fairs, you know, the healthcare specific job fairs, especially. Um, we're also um, using social media platforms to try to tell the story of what senior living is and, and how you can be a meaningful partner with us in this journey of taking care of others. I've noticed a huge difference just in the last few years in terms of people being interested in applying at PVM. And I think a lot of it is our reaching out, as I talked about before. I've had people who've said, you know, I checked on your website and I thought, this is a place I want to work at. So we took a look at our culture. Um, we also know that times have changed and to reach these candidates, um, you know, it's you got to be there digitally. Um, they live on their phones, so by default we have to be on their phones, and we weren't before. Um, traditional methods just weren't reaching them. And say, let's try to advertise in that space so that when they're on their phones, they're, we're popping up, and then we can remarket to them, hopefully. Um, and we're seeing results with that. We don't just need warm bodies. That, that does not fulfill the purpose of our, of our communities. We need people that want to serve others. And so um, one of the things that I'm hopeful as is a recent, recent study I read uh, talked about how millennials and, and how one of the main things millennials want in their lifetime is um, to do a work uh, that's fulfilling. And, and what better industry than senior living? I mean, we get to impact the lives of these wonderful people every day. Um, we get to spend some of the last years with them and hopefully make those years great. I think that sometimes we're so caught up with the business end that we forget that these, uh, you know, that Mrs. Jones, you know, she was, a, she was a mother, she was a daughter, she was a bride, she went to prom, she had children, she was a grandmother. And I think that we're, we're quick to forget that. Um, so, you know, really looking for people uh, that are looking to serve others and, and that's what we need to capture. Um, it's not easy to find right now, however. I think that uh, most of us can agree that one of the biggest challenges we're facing today is, is staffing and, and uh, the main piece of that is recruiting.